How about you come with me? And we will meet some new friends in the Lepa Gindi Kitan community. It's going to be super fun. Wow, that sounds like a great and awesome idea. That sounds like fun. Let's go over there so we can meet new friends. Yes. Come on. Kid blogger, kid host. Let's get going to there. I'm super happy to finally meet you. E. Okay, the show is over. Did you like the show, darling? No. No, no, no. I want to watch baby shows. It's so boring. I don't like the crappy VN show. It's cringe. Ugh. Fine. You can watch your baby shows. At least, you didn't whine about it. Okay, sweetheart. I think it's time for you to get a good job. We need money so we can pay our grocery bills, including our house bills. You can't just sit all day in the house and do nothing. Grown men are supposed to get a job so they can help their wives pay for their bills and other important stuff. So I decided to find you this job where you will be working from now on. Okay? No more being lazy, darling. But honey, I do not need a freaking job. I am a big boy. And it is for babies. I'm a big boy. I want to stay home and watch my favorite shows on TV. I don't belong here. I know you're a big boy, darling. And don't be silly. Babies can't work or support themselves. Only grown-ups have to work. Not kids. Today will be your first day of work. Oh look, honey. Your boss is now here. Meet Mr. Walid. Well, 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 look who's here, Catherine. It's so great to see you once again. I am so glad that you decided to visit my workplace. How are you doing? Walid. My friend, it's nice to see you again. Anyways, I was bringing my husband to your workplace so he can get started on his first day of work. He's being a little stubborn. Awesome. Thanks for bringing him to my workplace. I shall get him started on his first day of work right away. So tell me, how come your husband is a little stubborn? Well, he still acts like a little child and continues with his obsession of baby stuff, including fake crying and such. So this morning, he wanted to watch his favorite TV shows, but I already told him that he can't just do nothing in the house every day anymore and watch TV. He needs to grow up and start getting a job. He still refused. So that's why I found the right job for him, which is your workplace. I called you yesterday so he can get started for work today. Oh my, is that so? That was very childish of him to be lazy all day in the house, but don't worry, my friend, I shall deal with him and get him to work right away. I have worked with very stubborn people like him in the past, so there won't be a problem working with your childish husband. Alright my friend. I hope he really starts acting more maturely from now on. This childish behavior is going too far. And it's getting annoying. Anyways, I shall head off now. Don't worry my friend. I will make sure that he acts mature while in my workplace. No childish behavior is allowed in here. You take care and I will see you again later. Okay, Walid. It was nice talking to you. I hope my husband will act more mature this time. Take care. Okay, you lazy stubborn of a guy. Now that you are here, I expect you to be on your best behavior. Today will be your first day of work, so you will be cleaning the floor today. That means that you will be mopping the floor in the basement until it's squeaky clean over there. Any childish behavior and you will be punished. Do I make myself clear? Okay fine. I will work. Great. That is what I like to hear. Now wipe that childish, whiny attitude from your face and go down to the basement so you can get started on your job, okay? And no making any excuses about it. I will check on you later. Yeah yeah, whatever. Boss. Childish grown-ups, these days, when will they learn to grow up 
My goodness, this big guy needs to be taught a big lesson. I am going to escape this stupid place. I don't belong in here. I don't need a freaking job. I should go back home and watch some TV. Excuse me, but you are not allowed to leave my workplace during your work hours. You big guy, did you clean the basement floor yet? Let me check. I already cleaned the basement floor like you told me boss. It is all nice and clean. Wait a minute, why isn't the basement floor all nice and clean? How dare you lie to me and try to escape my workplace? That's naughty, you do not ever lie to me. Now do what you are told, like I said before. Go and clean the basement floor, it's not that hard. No. I will clean the basement later. You silly monkey. Now if you excuse me. I will escape this stupid ugly place. I don't belong here. Oh how dare you speak to me like that, and make excuses about it. That's very naughty. I do not allow that type of behavior here. No childish behavior allowed, mister. Now do what you're told, and clean the basement floor, right now. Okay fine. I was joking. I will clean the basement floor. I'm so sorry, boss. I won't do that again. Good that is what I like to hear. Now go and clean the floor. I will come back down here in a few minutes, to check on you. I want that floor squeaky clean. Okay boss. I will do my job. Well. Okay, now that piece of crap is gone. I will just turn this stupid place into my room so I can watch my favorite TV shows in there. Ha 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 ha. Time for some fun. Go animate logic. Turn this stupid workplace into my very own house. With my room in there. And a TV. No more jobs for me. Ha 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 ha. There, I now turn my boss's workplace into my very own house with a room. And a smart TV so I can watch my favorite shows. Now time to watch some TV. Excuse me mister, but you are supposed to be working, not in your house, watching TV. Let's go back to my workplace, right now. You are in so much trouble. Actually this is your workplace boss. I didn't escape, it's all a big mistake. What are you talking about? You think you can fool me? Well think again, because I'm about to punish you. If this childish behavior doesn't stop, let's go back to my place, now. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? This is not your house. What happened to my basement? What did you do to my workplace? Well, I decided to turn your workplace, which is the basement, into my very own house, with a smart TV in there. Now go away, I am watching TV, you ugly guy. Oh how dare you turned my basement, workplace, into your very own house, with a smart TV. Also you can be lazy, that was extremely naughty, to do something like that. That's it, I will turn this fake room, back to normal, you do not ever use go and logic to do naughty stuff, you naughty big boy. There, there, I turned my basement workplace back to normal, don't you ever do that again. And for your punishment, I will send you to the sub-basement, which is a floor underneath the main one. Now let's go to the deeper basement, the sub-basement, now. This is the sub-basement, where you will be staying all day, until the work hours is over. I will be calling your wife, and she isn't going to be happy. Now stay in here, and think about what you had done today. I am so disappointed in you right now, you naughty, naughty big boy.